Here, I was going to do story time, but I don't think I'm going to do story time today. Instead, I'm going to just do a little thinking to myself about um, a particular thing that came up in uh, MJ's uh, of uh, Reading This Life. She does a live stream every Saturday. Um, it starts at six o'clock in the morning, my time, which um, for somebody who goes to bed at one o'clock in the morning, it's probably not the greatest thing for me to get up, but I did. I did. And I will definitely sleep, sleep very soundly tonight because of it. Um, but at the very end of the video, uh, a uh, fellow came on who, you know, I think there was a lot of rah rah and there's a lot of very kind of highly actuated people who are like, oh, I'm planning on doing this, 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 and this. They're really into it at this point. They're really enthusiastic about BookTube, um, which is probably a part of the reason why I've I've taken to kind of uh, either catching it live or catching it on the uh, repeat is that uh, it's a nice energy to kind of hang around, even if I don't quite share that energy myself. I mean, I make videos every day, but I don't, I, I only, you know, I'm only every one a week, maybe, uh, dropping videos, uh, on my actual public, my, my actual public channel. So it's good to hang around people who are, woo, are, are, have got the energy at least at this point. And I mean, I'm sure some of them will carry that through. There's some of them that are just so, uh, successful, uh, even at this point, relatively young in their careers, especially when I think about how long I I've, I've been on, on book two. Um, but uh, there was a fellow who came on in the end, which I wanted to kind of mull over because he sort of voc he vocalized things that I have felt in the past and, you know, might feel again in the future, which was he's he was really discouraged. You could tell he's really discouraged. People just weren't weren't watching his videos. Um, he's. You know, he, he his his I have a feeling his subscriber count probably kind of stalled and you know it's just like I make videos and nobody watches them which is tough and brutal and I mean good good on him for actually you know saying it out loud because I you know there's a lot of times I'll make I'll make a video and I'll work on it work on it and then it's like yeah nobody watches it. nobody's interested and I laugh but it's like oh it does it does sting um I mean, a, and a part of being on here for long enough is I know, well, there'll be another video and you never know what's going to hit. I mean, and to be honest, there's a lot of stuff I know isn't going to hit because I like doing reviews, but I'm not that snappy of a reviewer that someone who hasn't read the book probably isn't going to check out my review. Uh, so you, you're really narrowing your scope of the people who are going to watch it. Whereas if you do something like a book haul, if you do something like uh, a library tour, um, people will check in for that because they want lots of books. They want to hear about lots of books. They don't want to hear just about one book and detail that they haven't actually read yet. Um, and so that's, that's, you know, but I don't like doing videos like that. So I've sort of had to make my peace with what my scope is going to be on something like YouTube on BookTube. It's like, I'm not going to have that wide of a scope. And I, you know, I think you can tell that I've made my peace with it because I've, I, I, I shuttered my original channel and started over again, just with a refresh, just because I, there's something about having, I had, it's like 700 plus subscribers on that channel. And there's something about having that number of subscribers. And then when you release a video, 10 people watch it. It's tough because then you think, oh, there were 700 people who could have, who potentially could have watched this that didn't. Now of those 700 people, probably the grand majority of those people aren't on YouTube anymore. Uh, or, you know, are rarely on YouTube. And then there's a mountain of things and they probably this and maybe they don't even look at the subscription feed they only look at their the algorithmic the algorithm that um on their home page which just recommends videos that be interested in because who to be honest who's going to be interested in my videos there's only been the the very rare video that has been has gotten picked up like that and to be honest those are videos that i prefer to put behind me even if i'm not deleting them 
I just prefer to put behind me anyways. But yeah, this fellow, and I mean, the fellow was making some kind of key things. He, he kept on apparently deleting his older videos. Um, he was doing stuff like, oh, I'm, I, I review books, but now I'm reviewing books and I'm reading the book twice so I can have more insights. And it's like, I think you're slightly missing the point of like, reviews are not going to be a big thing. There's also, I mean, to be brutally honest, I watched a couple of his videos. His vocal, my vocal presentation isn't great. And my organization isn't great. Uh, and I don't think his is. <laughs> I don't think, I think his was less than mine. You know, which isn't to kick the poor guy. I'm not v naming him. And this isn't obviously going up anywhere publicly. Well, you know, not too publicly. But it, it's like, some people have it. I mean, I watch some people and they go like, oh, you were, even back in my old channel days, it's like, I'd watch like, they'd have like their first video up and it's like, oh, uh, you're already about 10 times better than me and you've got much more accessible interests than me and you've got, you know, uh, I look at someone like Michael K. Vaughn, who he's, he's a workhorse as well. He, he does, he, he's putting out like three videos at least a week probably more, God help me, uh, he's focused on certain, on a certain kind of genre, whereas I'm all over the place. And he's just peppy, and he's got a great personality that people would want to watch him talk about anything. Whereas, you know, I've got an okay personality. <laughs> and, but I, I'm all, I'm all over the map. I don't post anything very regularly. I, especially at the beginning, I would just do reviews that were like half an hour, 45 minutes long. It's like, Jesus fucking Christ. And the thing is, it was baggy. It was like, it was like 35 minutes of that was me just t recounting the whole plot of the goddamn book in painful, in painful, long, um, things. It's like, that's something that should have been the first, you know, 30 seconds of the video, maybe. And then I, you should get right on to stuff. And I keep on telling myself this, but I still keep on making that mistake because I just want to talk about the book, not necessarily always just my opinions of the book. And, uh, but it's like people can read the book or they can read the back of the blurb if they want to get all that uh, and not spoilered. So I, I don't know. I was, I was thinking about that fellow because he's definitely quite discouraged and it'll be interesting to see if he if he continues on uh, in the thing. He's also older, uh, and by older I mean he's like my age, and yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's it was interesting to see somebody. I think it was something notable for me because it's like oh, I'm kind of there. That's kind of me. It's like I I I, I see you, brother. <laughs> I am I am like you. Uh, I'm, I don't want to watch your videos. <laughs> Just like you probably don't want to watch my videos. Um, but, you know, I, there's there's a couple of tough things. Um, um, one of them is just like, it's just the brutal facts of like, people are not going to, if you're not interesting, people will not watch you. And some people just don't have that knack. I, I am working on, I'm continually in a, in a progress of trying to work on being more of being more interesting and it's tough work for somebody who's not naturally interesting in the first place it is tough work and i just and you know having the instincts to try and cut things down into quick digestible form is tough is difficult and you could do all and i think a part of it is you could do all the right things and it still might not work there's, there's this, this YouTube is littered with, uh, lots of dead channels where people did all the right stuff, made amazing videos. I mean, amazing videos. And for whatever reason, the right audience did not find them. And whether that's, they didn't push themselves right, or, you know, a, a larger creator didn't call them out at the right time. Um, it just didn't happen. So there's, there's, there is, um, like the people who have been a success, they've been ha had a success because they worked goddamn hard. 
uh, and uh, for the most part, 99% <laughs> of them, they worked hard, they had the talent, and then uh, they also got lucky. They also had somebody call them out at the right moment. And uh, yeah, that's that 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 is that must that must burn <laughs> burn. I, I for myself, I I've probably been lucky enough uh, as it is, and um, I don't want to be lucky again. <laughs> In that way, in that way. Luckily, I wasn't able to capitalize off it, and I wasn't inclined to capitalize off it. So, that is good. That is good. I, 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 I. There's the people who are hungry for success, but then couldn't handle it. And I was definitely hungry for success, and I would not have been able to handle it. And, uh, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm happy being an unsuccessful though happy hobbyist. Who, to be honest, I might be, a, I might be around for. Uh, longer than people who 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 are amazing successes for a while and then just like okay that was enough and then they go off and do something else i might just still be here down at the very ground bottom bottom of the barrel uh grinding away but uh enjoying myself and uh talking about all this stuff and who knows maybe this fellow will uh pick himself up and uh decide you know, because one of the good things about him chiming in is everyone gave him encouragement, but uh, there was also a thing of, especially like I think MJ saying like, look, look, you got to decide why you're doing this. If you're doing this for your success and you're not getting the success, then maybe you need to move on to something else. If you're doing this because you actually just love doing it, well then screw success. I mean, yeah, it'll burn because I know it will burn, but uh, you can continue doing it if you enjoyed making videos. and. You know, but if one of the contingencies of you enjoying yourself is that, you know, you get thousands of subscribers and you're not, and that's just not going to happen. Well, then you got to let it go because you just be making yourself miserable, which you don't want. All right. See, this is more of me talking to myself as much as I'm talking to this, uh, this poor guy who actually, you know, was brave enough to say that out loud. And uh, I, I give him, I give him much credit for that. All right, I have been Jay. I'm still grinding around, grinding along here myself. More videos later.